Hello class, welcome to section 2.2. Here we're going to do some evaluations of expressions. So the first part is going to be something like, they're going to give you x minus 5 and figure that out when x equals 9. So all we're going to do is every time we see an x, put a 9 in. And here there's only 1, so it's going to be 9 minus 5. Figure that out, and it is 4. Next, let's say we have um, that same thing, but when x equals 17. So now, we're just going to say 17 minus 5, and that equals 12. Next, we're going to be given something that's a little bit more, say 2x minus 5. And first, when x is 1. So we're going to put a 1 in every time we see it, the x. And I recommend that you put parentheses here. So it's going to be 2 times 1 minus 5. Do the order of operations. So it's 2 times 1, which is 2 minus 5. And 2 minus 5 is negative 3. Then we're going to have x is 2. So we have 2 times 2 minus 5. 2 times 2 is 4 minus 5, and that equals negative 1. Then, when x is 3. So we're going to have 2 times 3 minus 5. 2 times 3 is 6 minus 5, and that equals 1. So you're going to have quite a few that are just like that. Then... You'll have one that has two variables. Say we have 13x minus y when x equals 7 and y equals 19. So we're going to put a 7 in for x and a 19 in for y. So it's going to be 13 times 7 minus 19. 13 times 7 equals 91 minus 19 and that equals 72 so that's how you'll do that one then you'll have one like x squared minus 2x plus 3 when x is negative 2 so here especially is where you want to use your parentheses so we're going to put parentheses around the negative 2 squared minus 2 times negative 2 plus 3. So we're going to do our exponents first. I'm going to do this in separate steps. So negative 2, that whole thing squared is negative 2 times negative 2 or positive 4 minus 2 times negative 2 plus 3. Now we're going to do our multiplication, which is the negative 2 times negative 2. So we're going to have 4 plus 4 plus 3. Now we can add all of them. 4 plus 4 plus 3 equals 11. Okay, next we're going to have something like 400t plus 5670. And t equals the number of years after 1995 and what is this going to equal in 2019 so what we have to do here is instead of putting 1995 in for t or 2019 in for t we have to figure out how far um, because it's t is how many years after 1995 so the first thing we have to do is subtract 2019 minus 1995 and we're going to get 24 and that's what we're going to use for t so we're going to put 400 times 24 plus the 5670 24 times um, 400 is 9600 plus 5670. Now we can add these. We're going to get 0, 7, 
12, 14, 15. Okay, so when we have different variables, what we can do is combine like terms. And a term is anything between pluses and minuses. So a term could be something like x, 3x, 4, 79, or 130 W. Any these, it's three times x, but there's no plus or minus in between, so that whole term is together. Now the coefficient is the number in front of the variable. So in this example, there's basically a one in front of the X. So the coefficient is one. Here, the coefficient is three. Here, the coefficient is 130. If we had something like negative four X, the coefficient would be negative four. So what we can do is combine like terms. So we're gonna get something like 2x squared plus 7x plus four, all in parentheses, plus 5x squared minus 7x minus four. Okay, so the way to do this, if there's a plus in between the um, polynomials, just get rid of the parentheses and we have 2x squared plus 7x plus 4 plus 5x squared minus 7x minus 4. Okay, so then we can, what we're doing is combining like terms. So what I'm going to do is rearrange them so that the like terms are next to each other. So here we have a 2x, an x squared and it's 2x squared. I'm going to cross that off and look for another one that has an x squared. And here I have a plus 5x squared. And I'm going to go through no more x squareds. I'm going to start at the beginning. And I see I have a 7x. So now I'm going to look for ones with x's. And I have a minus 7x. And then I have a plus 4 and a minus 4. Now here, when we say like terms, it means the same variable. So even though the x squareds and the x both have x's, these ones are x squared, which is different than x. So you can add the, you can combine the x squareds to each other, combine the x's to each other, and then just combine the regular numbers to each other. So here we have a 2x squared plus a 5x squared. So we have 7x squareds. And all we're doing when we're combining is either adding or subtracting the numbers. Then we have a 7x minus 7x. So that's basically plus 0x and a plus 4 minus 4. So that is plus 0. All right, and the next type is going to be one where we're subtracting. So let's put in parentheses 5x squared plus 5x plus 5 and then minus in parentheses 2x squared minus 6x minus 2. So here it's going to be a little different. The first part's going to be the same. We're just going to pretend that the parentheses aren't there and say 5x squared plus 5x plus 5. But now because we have a minus, everything inside these parentheses is going to change the sign. So this 2x squared becomes minus 2x squared. This minus 6x becomes plus 6x. This minus 2 becomes plus 2. And now I'm going to do the same where I rearrange them so I have like terms. I have a 5x squared and then a minus 2x squared. No more x squareds. Then I have a plus 5x and a plus 6x. No more x's. Then I have a plus 5 and a plus 2. Now I can combine the x squareds. I have a 5 minus 2, so that's 3x squareds. 
And then the X's, I have a five plus six, so that makes 11 X, and a five plus a two, which is plus seven. So our answer here would be three X squared plus 11 X plus seven. And that is it for section 2.2.